I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find limits of functions when we are given piecewise functions. Question here is evaluate limit when x approaches 3 of f of x and f of x is defined as a piecewise function. It is equal to square root of x minus 3 when x is greater than 3 and is equal to 6 minus 2x when x is less than 3. Now we'll adopt two different approaches to answer this question. First, let me call this as algebraic method, right? And then we'll use a graph. Okay, so we'll have two different approaches. So let's rewrite this question here. We have f of x equals to one branch is square root of x minus 3. This is when x is greater than 3. And the other one is 6 minus 2x when x is less than 3. You can see very clearly at 3 the function is not defined. At 3 the function is not defined. Correct? Now let's find the limits. We have to find limit at 3. So when you have to find limit at 3, it is better to find limit at 3 approaching from the left side for f of x and also limit as x approaches 3 from the right side for the same functions. Now, if both the limits are same, then the limit exists. Otherwise, it does not exist. Correct? Okay. So, when I say limit when x approaches 3 from the left side, so this is left side, right? Left side. That means what? 3 minus means x is less than 3. x is less than 3 means we are working on this branch. Do you see that? So, I'll substitute 3 in this equation. So, I'll get 6 minus 2 times 3 which is 0. So this limit is 0. Let me change the thing and do the other limit. We want 3 plus. When I say 3 plus, it means from right. It means when x is just greater than 3. Is that okay? The function is not defined at 3, but that does not hold us from finding the limit. Limit is always approaching that point. Correct. Now greater than 3 means we are looking into the first branch which is square root 1, right? So we have square root of 3 minus 3. You can always substitute. You can get 0. So what you notice here is that the limit as x approaches 3 from the negative side of this function is equal to the limit when x approaches 3 from the positive side of f of x. Both are 0. And therefore, the limit exists, right? So we can write the answer, which is limit x approaches 3 for f of x is indeed equal to 0. You get it. So that is the algebraic method. Perfect. Now let us see. You will also solve it by making a graph. So let's make sketch a graph here. So we are talking about plus uh, right side and left side of 3. Okay. So let's say this is x and y coordinates for us. 3. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 3 for us. Now let's see. The first one is square root function x minus 3 when x is greater than 3. That means this value is not included. Let me put a hole here. Is it okay? So once I put a hole, then I sketch my function, which is square root function, right side of this. So it is going to be kind of like this. You can make table of values and figure it out, right? So this value here will be 1, right? So if I write 4 here, square root of 4 is 1. So that kind of like this. Is that okay? Perfect. The other graph here is a straight line. Straight line, again, not equal to 3. So again, a circle, not a filled up thing, right? So it is not filled up. It is discontinuous here. At 3, it is 0. Okay, 3, it is 0. And if I write 0 here, I get 6. So, I mean, kind of somewhere there. So, it's a steep line going like this. Let me just draw like this. Perfect. So, this is the uh, 6 minus 2x part. Is it okay? And the other one which we've drawn is square root part. x minus 3. Okay. So, so that is how the function is. Now, we can see that limit as x approaches 3 from both the sides, we can write down limit when x approaches 3 from the left side for the function, you are approaching from this side, right? 
So that means you are approaching from here. Where are you approaching? Zero. So this is equal to zero. The other limit again is limit when x approaches three from the positive side for the function is what? Now this one, you are approaching from here, right? But as you approach three, you're approaching a value which is again zero, correct? So this is also zero. Since both are zero, right? So the same re logic, correct? Limit x approaches three from the left side for the function is same as the limit x approaches three from the right side of this function. Both are equal to zero. Therefore, limit when x approaches three for f of x is indeed equal to zero. And that is how you have to solve it. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to post questions and if you have doubts. Okay, uh, I hope you like this uh, video. You can put a like if you want, but always share, subscribe, and post questions as you have been doing. Thank you for active participation.